Hey everybody, my name is Oscar and welcome to my channel. In this video, I just want to make a simple tutorial on how to turn a Python script, just like this one, into an application. And when I say application, I mean an icon that you can click on, uh, just like you would see for Google Chrome or you know uh, Visual Studio. Usually when you start these on your computer, you don't go to the command line and run in command. Uh, you just see an icon on your desktop and you can just click it uh, and a lot of times that's just a lot more convenient. Uh, I did have some requests to make a video like this and so I'm just going to do it. Uh, it's not going to take too long. So diving right in, uh, this Python script right here is just a simple script that allows me to play a Connect4 game. Um, it's The code, is, to be honest, is not very good. I just asked ChatGPT to make it for me, but I will demonstrate it right now. And so it's not even really great. It doesn't have a board, but you are able to drop these circles down and it does finish when it notices that a connection of four has been made. Well, sometimes it does. Yeah, see, it noticed that one and now the program terminates. It tells you player one wins. Um, and so what would be nice is if I could have that be an icon. And so in order to accomplish that, you just need to basically just do two steps. And the first step is to create another Python file. And this Python file, its sole purpose is to just convert this connect4.py into an app. And so I'm gonna add that file right now. And so I added it right here. It's this setup.py file. And so essentially it's a very simple file that just calls one function. You have to import this setup function from setup tools. Make sure so that you can actually do this, you run a pip install for setup tools first. But, um, and but once you have that, you can just call this setup function right here. And essentially what you do is you just need to define these three things. The first thing is what app, when this icon, when you make it, uh, what app is it going to correspond to? In this case, we want the actual app to be the connect for py file. After that, uh, it's going to want uh, certain options. And so I have two different options here. Now, the first option is the icon file. And so essentially what I want is I want it to be the case that when this icon pops up on my desktop, that it actually uses a picture or something that looks like Connect4. And so I'm gonna pop in an icon file right now. Uh, this is just something I found online, but so that you can see it, I am gonna drag over the directory. And this is what it looks like. This is what it, lo it, it, it looks like, a, what you'd expect, like a Connect4 icon. And it's basically just uh, an ICNS file which is kind of like a you know a PNG or something like that, and it, all it does is it's just here so that when this program runs, when the setup.py file runs, it uses that icon for the actual icon uh, that you would click on. And so with that out of the way, um, the next thing is the packages. Now this right here is for dependencies. Uh, so this connect4.py file has a pygame dependency and it also has a numpy dependency. And it won't work unless it's able to import these two packages. Now what will happen if you run this script without including this is uh, it'll try to run this Python code, but the environment that this Python code lives in does not necessarily have the packages that you have imported on your computer. Like in order for me to run this script, even on the command line, I would actually need to do a pip install for these packages so that I have it available. Uh, but when you bundle it all up into a application, then you won't actually get everything you've pipped installed onto your computer, especially if you were to give this to other people, stuff like that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you include this parameter right here so that it is included. Now, something else that you have to do in order to make sure this works is you need to create your Python virtual environment, which is basically like creating an enclosed space 
four-year Python program where that virtual environment has everything that it needs to run. Um, if you just try to run this setup.py, it would do so without including any of the packages that it needs. It would do so without pygame and numpy. So in order to fix this, uh, you need to make your virtual environment. And the way that you do that is by running uh, these two commands. And before you run these two commands, you do need to make sure that you've uh, pip installed virtual env. And it looks like this. Just make sure that you do have this installed, otherwise this command won't work. But once you do have it installed, you just need to run the command with a venv for virtual environment. And so once you run this, it will create a whole bunch of stuff. It especially, it will create this um, venv directory, which basically contains your virtual environment for the script. And once that's made, you just need to activate the environment. So I'm going to do that by running this command. And I basically just ran source venv bin activate. And it's essentially just running this file that is in this directory bin activate. And what it does is it changes your command prompt to be in the virtual environment. That's why you see this venv here. It's because now uh, every, every command I run from now on is within the context of my virtual environment. And so now that that's out of the way, I can just, and so now that I'm in this virtual environment, I can just run the setup.py file like I would any other Python file, and I can do so by running python3 setup.py. And after that, I do have to include a couple more things. The first one is py2app, and the second one is this dash a. And basically, once you run this command, it should do everything that you need it to do in order to create the icon. And so it ran, and once you see this done, you know it's complete. And so now I'm going to navigate to this directory here, but on Finder. And so this is the directory, and I'm going to go into this this directory, and here is the icon. So when I click on it, it's gonna run like an application and the connect for game now pops up and this is pretty cool because you can treat this executable as any other application so you could you know move it to the applications uh directory here like you would any other mac application i'm not going to do that right now only because i've already done that before and as you can see here i already have it and you could go to the home screen and you can have it be here like any other application that you would. Another thing that you can do is you can, when you run this, uh, you can pin it to the dock. You can do anything that you would do with a normal application. But that's basically the tutorial. That's all the steps you need to do in order to have this uh, script, what was once a script, now be a, an executable file. Um, and that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and until next time.